Dick Cagle, working for MLB.com at the time, covered all 162 games of the 2011 season while following the Kansas City Royals. This was unusual in itself, but at the time, Cagle was 71 years old and five years removed from having life-threatening liver cancer and a subsequent successful liver transplant. Dick Cagle always was well above the norm. From the time he began working for his hometown paper, the Belmont News Democrat, at age 16, to his retirement last year. Along the way, Dick covered baseball for a half century, first for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, where he ultimately became sports editor, and then the Sporting News, where he was editor. Then he worked for the final version of the St. Louis Globe Democrat. Then it was on to Kansas City, where he covered the Royals for 27 years, mostly at the Kansas City Star, all the while attracting a legion of admirers. I am one of those. If you think I've been doing this a long time, consider that Dick Cagle preceded me on the Cardinals beat. The Highland Humboldt Award to my good friend, Dick Cagle. What a great privilege it is to receive this award from Rick Hummel, a Hall of Famer in every respect. St. Louis baseball fans have been very lucky to have this man writing for the Post-Dispatch for so many years. It's an honor to share this award with a St. Louis broadcasting legend, old friend Ron Jacober. And to share the evening with Commissioner Seeley. Commissioner, a sincere thank you for always treating the baseball writers with great respect and courtesy. Yes. Over the past 50 years, I've cherished a close association with very wonderful players and great journalists on both sides of the state. I've witnessed many historic events, all the way from the 1964 World Series, when your Cardinals beat the Yankees, right on through this last World Series when those amazing Royals captivated a nation. As Rick mentioned, I, I started in this business at age uh, 16 across the, river, <coughs> across the river at the Bell News Democrat, working at the newspaper in the morning, going to high school in the afternoon, and covering games at night. At times like this, you want to acknowledge the folks that helped you along the way, and most of all, God bless my own folks, mom and dad, for trying to sleep through that typewriter clacking on the dining room table at all hours of the night. So it's been a great run and a lot of fun. A big thank you to my, my peers, the uh, St. Louis baseball writers, for this wonderful award. I'm humbled and, and very grateful. My bride, Betty, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here tonight. This is for you. Thank you.